If you think you're going to get in trouble, your first instinct might be to deny that you've done something wrong. If you falsely deny your guilt to a federal agent, do you commit a crime? We explore that question in Brogan v. United States. James Brogan was a union officer. He accepted payments from JRD Management Corporation, a company that employed members of Brogan's union. Federal agents made an unannounced visit to Brogan's home. They explained that they were investigating JRD. They asked Brogan if he'd ever received payments from JRD. Brogan said no. The agents then informed him that they already had records showing that Brogan received money from JRD. They also informed Brogan that lying to a federal agent was a crime. Brogan didn't change his answer, and the interview terminated shortly thereafter. The government charged Brogan with accepting unlawful cash payments from an employer. It also charged Brogan with violating 18 U.S.C. Section 1001. That statute makes it a felony to knowingly and willfully make a false statement within the jurisdiction of a federal agency. Brogan was convicted. The Second Circuit affirmed. The United States Supreme Court granted cert.